Hello everyone, this is Carol. My blog is Chocolate Crafts and Bears, oh my. And I wanted to share some projects with you that I have created over the summer. I actually did Christmas in July, but it's August 26th today, and I'm just getting around to taking some pictures and photographing and videotaping this. This is made um, with the toilet paper roll fake candles. Uh, a couple years ago I did a video that shows you how to make these uh, fake candles and I had a bunch left from my friend's wedding that I did not put the um, brown type of stain on it because I wanted to do something like this for Christmas. So um, what you see here is um, the top one is a um, paper towel um, you know the center of the paper towel roll and then these might be also um, that have been cut down these of course are the toilet paper rolls that have been um, cut down to different sizes because I wanted some small and some tall and what you see right here is um, a reindeer that I got from the Dollar General a few years ago and I just altered him by tying on a different um, ribbon and putting a little recollection uh, holly it's a plastic embellishment on there so we're looking at um, everything is uh, paper and hand created except of course the um, reindeer and the, the tea lights are uh, the things that you can get in the dollar store and they easily come in and out so that you can turn them off and on while they're um, so you can turn it off at night <laughs> oh it's been a while since I made a video I can't talk anyway let me tell you that the bottom is a candle holder from the dollar store and the um, arrangement is on one of the silver um, platters that they have I don't know if you call it a platter or a dish but it's been painted white and there's been lace that's been attached around the outside and what I used was I love this die um, it's the Tim Holtz uh, poinsettia tattered poinsettia I love this die and I got the uh, embossing folder so I embossed the um, poinsettias that I made with that also what you see on here um, I'll give you a close-up in a, in a few seconds I use the tattered pine cone die for my pine cones and I did use this as well this um, branch and then of course I used this I just used the Noel and I cut it out on a um, glittered piece of um, rippled like uh, corrugated glittered card cardstock from Michaels and then for the branches I used this as well this is um, an impression obsession die uh, what's it called I'm not sure what it's called I don't know it's awful it's beautiful I bought that when I saw far first saw it so let me give you a, cl a real close up here these of course are that from the tattered point setter I can't get a good picture and all I did was brush some acrylic paint and uh, sprinkled it with glitter and the same with the pine cones and you can see all the way around this I put two different size poinsettia and put some gold beads in the center and you can tell I cut the uh, impression obsession uh, little branch here on a dark uh, pine type of cardstock and um, this one from the tattered uh, pine cone I cut on another different color it's more like an olive and I distressed it with some uh, brush corduroy and painted that as well so as we turn around here you can see how I did the arrangement there's the deer there's the poinsettia sorry if I'm making you dizzy <laughs> And then I'm going to put it down like that. 
And if you're interested, I will leave the link below for the uh, instructions on how to make these candles so that you um, can make one of these yourself. And the only thing is in the instructions, just don't put the brown on there to make them look scary, old. Just leave them white like that. So I thank you for watching and I will have some more videos of some other projects that I've made so uh, stay tuned. Thanks everyone and happy crafting.